Alex bought 144 bagels for $80. His profit was $75 once he had sold 100 bagels. Which equation below represents Alex's profit P as a function of the number sold N? So we have a profit P and we have the number of bagels sold N. Now we know that profit is equals to the revenue, how much we actually make, how much we bring into the company, minus the loss. Now the loss here is we lost $80 because we had to buy some materials. So this loss here is gonna be $80. So already I see the formula here coming about, minus 80 minus 80, it could be B or, it could be B or D. Now what is revenue? Revenue we know is gonna be based on how many, uh, how much money we make. How much money we make depends on the cost of a bagel times how many, um, how many bagels we sell. So let's C be the cost of one bagel. And here in this example, we have a profit of $75. The revenue here is the cost of each individual bagel times how many we sell. In this case, we sell 100 bagels. So the cost of each bagel, uh, the C, can be solved for given this equation. We have 75 equals 100C minus 80. So using some basic algebra, 100C is equals to 75 plus 80, which is 155 and we divide both sides by 100, we get C is equals to 1.55. So now that we've solved for C, we know what profit is. Profit is equals the revenue. The revenue happens to be uh, how many items we sell, which is N, times the cost of each individual item, which happens to be C, or 1.55, since we solved for C, minus the actual loss, how much it costs, which is 80. We bought all our materials for $80. So here is the profit formula. And so the answer here is D.